Hi, my name is Gregor. I'm the co-founder of a website called Parliament Watch. We are a website for transparency and accountability in politics. And what we're doing is very simple. We have a profile of all politicians in Germany on our website, on the federal level, the European level, um, local level. A lot of people in Germany don't even know who's responsible for them, which constituency they live in. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of your state legislator, your local councillor, etc. So we um, offer a zip code search. So you enter your zip code. It brings you to your members of parliament. And then what you can do on Parliament Watch, you can submit a question, which is public, and you get a public response from your member of parliament. So it's open Q&A, on the record, substantial and meaningful. Uh, we make sure that uh, we moderate the questions and answers, that it's fair play, so no insults, no pure opinion statements, no private questions, etc. cetera. And, and that way we, we really manage um, to get people engaged. This is an overview of the members of parliament. We got more than 90% of the members of parliament actually buying into this platform. Uh, most of the ministers are, like most of the backbenchers are. Um, the chancellor is not, but um, we'll try to get her as well. Um, so far, like we've got more than 160,000 questions, more than 130,000 answers, and a response rate of 81%. Um, a lot of people ask us, how do you get politicians actually to answer and make a statement? Um, well, first of all, um, we have extra. Um, we, we, we do have the extra earnings. We have like voting records. It's one thing what politicians promise and say. It's the other thing what people do in parliament, and that's it's on the on the voting records. Um, we use competition to drive participation. So you can decide not to answer questions, and uh, you would let down not only yourself, but also your party, because you got a response rate by party and not only by politicians. We integrate our database into main media websites, like the Spiegel here. Uh, we invented a card game where you can play politicians against each other based on like their metrics, like response rates and uh, the last election results. Sometimes we even see members of parliament are trying to improve their response rate you know, by their cards by, while they're playing this on their iPad in parliament. Um, we've got a radar where you can select uh, members of parliament according to their age and their sex and their children and their voting behavior. Uh, we also integrated in um, other media websites where you, you, you read an article about a politician then you can enter your zip code and then ask a question about this article. Uh, of course, um, people also share like questions on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we grade politicians once a year when they get school grades. So more than 90% they would get an A, more than 80 a B, and they would tweet about it and say, well, I got an A again, or like um, <laughs> compare each other on the national level. Um, people share questions and answers on Facebook, uh, on Twitter. Uh, we've got members, we had a member of parliament in 2007. Um, he turned out to be, um, he didn't go to any parliamentary sessions. He didn't answer any questions. He turned out to be Germany's laziest MP. Uh, that's the biggest tabloid paper in, uh, in Germany, the Bild Zeitung. Uh, it took him about four months until he resigned over the platform. He happened to be the great-grandson of Otto von Bismarck, the first vice chancellor of Germany. Uh, that was probably because you know, like he's, he was voted on for, for his last name. Um, how are we financed? We are a charity, so we have 1,550 small regular monthly donors, like in addition we have a, about 2,000 one-off donors um, a year. Um, we sell premium profiles to candidates in the run-up to the elections. They get a basic profile, but if they want to have a Facebook, uh, Twitter integration or a picture, tell them like you cannot expect our donors to pay for your election campaign. And it actually works. Um, we have uh, at the moment 54 city communal parliaments. It's really scalable. It doesn't take much to get a communal parliament on. Whenever there are people, local people who crowdsource the data, we would go online for a local parliament. There's six uh, other countries that we're present in, including uh, France, uh, Ireland, um, Luxembourg. A project that we just started was uh, Tunisia, which is the Tunisia is pretty new to democracy, as you know, just had, had a revolution two years ago. This is the Marsa, the observer of Tunisia. Turns out the Islamic party is actually the one with the best attendancy rates. The progressives are not that good in Tunisia. And if you want to start and get parliament running for your own state or country, go on Drupal, GitHub, grab the code, and get started. Thank you.